Welcome back to the Cricket Today Show. I'm your host, Liam McCallion, also known as the Stats Guy. We are back, lads. This we're is, back. We're yeah. back. I was waiting for you to do a champ. Gang's We've got back. Liam over we there. We are so back. Feeling good. How are we going? Very good. Uh, Marcus Barzano also here. Just It's been about three weeks. So it's been sad. It I missed you guys. It's like an eternity. So you excited to be back? Of course. Of course. Ready of to go? Of course. Where else would I be? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you don't do that much. So On a Tuesday morning at... 10, 15. Yeah, that was very specific. 10, 18, if you want to get really specific. We are going through the top five batsmen today in Australian cricket history. So we're going to be uh, arguing, debating our way through this. I think uh, we always, I think the the top few are going to be very similar, but I reckon four and five, we could have oh, very well, different. Well, if you remember back towards top 10 Australian cricket, I don't even remember who I had where in that list. Steve, uh, Steve, no, Steve Smith, Smith came too, up at, at four. four. Yeah. yeah. That, yeah. So where would he be? I'm, where's he going to be on the batting list? Zero. He must be in the top two. Or I'm three. gonna contradict well, myself. I, I, I've just contradicted myself as well. Yeah, I feel like a few of us uh, have changed their mind since then. So no, I think we're just all idiots. No, just, no, we are the oh, brightest no, minds okay, in the sorry, cricket yeah. world. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. All right, before we start, make sure you get around this podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, etc. Subscribe to YouTube as well. What's our next goal, mm. lads? Uh, what two thousand? Uh, Twelve hundred. So Road to two k. I reckon fifty thousand. Fifty thousand after well, this video. Thank you for all the new followers in the past yes. couple yes. weeks without any YouTube. I think we got really thirty five the last week. Oh, and without even posting anything. anything. So thank you very much for that. Yeah, check out the shorts as well. We Leo chucked up a lot of shorts. If we don't get fifty thousand views in the next two weeks, <laughs> Stats guy will shave his head. Yes. Do you mean subscribers? Non Both. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not shaving my head. <laughs> Tell them what's coming, Stats guy. What do you mean? The summer of cricket. The summer of cricket. <laughs> That's very true. Of content I was going to say that at the end, but I can say that now. The, su the summer of cricket will be here uh, very shortly, actually. <laughs> what does that smell like? It smells like cricket. It smells, it smells like, like cricket. The summer of cricket. Uh, it smells like the, freshly mown pitch. Freshly mown grass. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else there. Uh, but yeah, we've got the Big Bash coming up. So we're going to do some BBL Super Coach. Uh, just everything Big Bash. Everything Aussie summer of cricket. We're very excited mm. for that. So yeah. Get around us on all the uh, YouTube there. Absolutely. Let's get into it, lads. I'm going to love smashing through the covers. Yes. Throughout the summer. Yeah, no, I'm a more of a pull shot type, type of guy. Or under yeah. the covers. Yeah. <laughs> to the list, <laughs> guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get into the list. Top five Australian batsmen of all time. I think this is harder than the bowlers. I was so turn torn on this, uh, doing this this morning. So we'll start with Leo. We'll start with Leo, mm. as always. Number five. I put Steve War at five. No, I'm kidding. I put Manus Labashane. Did, wait, no, really? I, was, <laughs> I feel I like was Steve low for five. Steve Waugh, but yeah. Uh, third most runs in all formats for Australia. Yep, yep. Uh, it's probably just due to the fact that like I didn't see him bat, but you just hear things about him and how awesome he was. I think he's the third most in test as well yes. for Australia. Yep, all so, time and test is third. Yeah, yep. he has to make the five. Has to make the five? Oh, simple as that. Yep. All right. And what about exactly your five, right. Marcus? He has to make the fiver because he's in my five. There we go. Oh. We're going to have the same list. I'm calling him right now. We're going to have the same God. list. Yeah, what was that? Almost pretty much 11,000 runs in all formats. Hmm. Um, no, no. I think it's like 18. 11,000 tests. Yes. Most runs in first class cricket, Steve, for 13. We don't want for we don't want for class cricket, do we? Still, that's pretty good. It's still though. pretty, yeah, yeah very, very good. Very good. Come yeah. over stats guys five. It's gonna be like Travis Head. No, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tim Payne. Like Tim Payne. Tim <laughs> no, um, uh, uh, Shane what's Watson. Name? What's uh? <laughs> yeah, actually, is he, I didn't actually think of Shane Watson. Shane Watson. David well, Watson. we've got to do all rounders next. Yeah, we can all do all rounders. rounders. Let's yeah. just can we concentrate on one? We can. Have we done wiki keepers? Podcast has ADHD. We're going to do wiki keepers. You say I have ADHD. You're all over the shop. So yeah, you're five. Steve War as well. Steve War as well. I've got him a bit later, but that's okay. Spoiler. I've got another Steve. Steve Smith. He's oh, my number five. Okay. I don't even. I reckon you might not even have him, you two. But do you? Okay. Have oh, well, maybe. we'll find out. We'll find out. Third he most. wants to know our list. <laughs> I know. Third most hundreds in Australia for all formats. Fourth most runs overall for Australia. Absolute freak. Could play at all tempos. Three hundred and sixty degree player. Just the fact that he came back in twenty nineteen. I saw him over there in the Ashes in England. That, that, is, been that is some of the. That yeah. is Did the you? Best. Not, I don't think you mentioned that. Oh before. yeah, I mentioned that on every show, don't I? <laughs> um, that is the best. Uh, cricket period I've seen from a batsman in my lifetime. Just the amount of hundreds he made in that uh, 2019 Ashes was just unbelievable. Came back straight into the team. I just think he has a lot of heart uh, yet to do that. And I think he has to be in the top five because he's an absolute he freak. Went, he went from about like mid-30, high-30 average. Yeah. And then after that it was series, 60 that, after it was that. like 60. Yeah. Really so average. now he's down to 56, I think, in tests yeah. and 48 uh, overall, which is an amazing yeah. effort. So he had to come in my top five. All right. We're going again with Leo. Steve He's Smith, number four. Oh, there, there you go. Steve Smith, number four. Yeah, oh, we're having the same list. Yes. I call you. We're Wait, having the same so list. You guys roasted me for Great having him minds. up there in like Aussie cricketers and you've got him higher than me. Great That's minds. Weird. We do have it. Because I reckon you were spooked. No, you don't back yourself. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't back it. He's like, oh, they're going to they're gonna make fun no, no, of me no. for putting him high. I, I think after, after his career ends, he's going to be top three or four. 
But for now, he's five. I have him at four. I actually, I did consider putting him higher, but I think recently he's dropped off a little yeah. bit. That's being really harsh, though. He if has, he, he has. If he, if he continued his form of like no, twenty nine yeah, matches, I actually think it'd be it could be one or two if he did. To be honest, yeah. Um, significantly fewer matches than the run scorers above him. It's good call. Yes. Fifty six yep. average. As, yeah, as I said, he did drop off recently, and I don't know about him opening, but. In his prime, he's just a cheat code, wasn't he? Like you oh. just bank in a hundred every yeah. day, every time mm. he batted, and England just didn't know safe. how to get him out. With, yeah, I think the other point I didn't make was the fact that he just dominated England. It's just we just yeah. love that as, as Aussies, so yeah. that's awesome. Does he retire after not this summer, the next summer? So when the Ashes come here, how old is he now? Is he thirty? He said he's going to retire. He did say he was going to retire soon, and because of that time off uh, with the ban, that stuffed him up for like mm. all-time runs. I yeah. feel like he would be way higher on that list if Will he didn't he have those take um, war and border in test runs. I think. I think a, you were about fifteen hundred off um, border. Yeah, he could. He yeah, could. Four, fourteen hundred off war, fifteen hundred off border. It's gonna well, be 15, tough. 16, he's got to play another three years, I reckon, for that. Mm. Uh, but he's it, gone in, the way he's gone three years. Like, but. in all fairness, border yeah has played a lot forty-seven more, yeah. more matches, yeah. test matches. I think war was even more than that. Yeah, gone. war's yeah. played one sixty-eight. Smith, Steve Smith one hundred nine. Yeah. yeah. So oh, good call. Unreal. That band's gonna. Yeah, yeah, the band the band mm. has stuffed him up for like all time stats, but the fact that we got to watch him and his prime is just would awesome. it have made him as hungry though? Maybe not. Yeah, because nah, he came back, back very hungry band. after that. I reckon even before the band, like, prove a like point. A, sort I swear, there's a period though where you just bank in a hundred even before the band. Yeah, yeah, yeah he is a freak. And the fact we didn't even talk about that he started as a leg spin bowler in this yeah. show. Yep. What did he bat at nine or something yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Batted at nine was a leg spin bowler. Shane Warne's new mm. prodigy apparently. And then he just became one of the show's best te uh, test batters. We've got 30, 32 hundreds. So the same amount of hundreds in test cricket as Steve Waugh, who yep. played an extra 60 test matches. Well, this is go. not helping my uh, Steve Waugh. Above Steve Smith in four. So you two have Steve ah, Smith in four. Steve Waugh for? I just think more iconic, uh, absolute legend. Obviously, third <laughs> most uh, runs all time for Australia. Great nickname, Tugger Waugh. Tugger is just a, that's just a great well, nickname. He's got, he's got the most test match ducks of anyone in the top And you, Wait, so you've put him <laughs> above Smith because of his nickname? <laughs> yep. There was just <laughs> smudge is a bit boring. I like I like Tugger is a great that's a great nickname. I love that. No, yeah, I, I just had to put him in there. More iconic. Uh, I think at the end of the day, when Steve Smith retires, I'll put him ahead. But just for now, I'm, in the back of my mind, I'm like Steve Ward, just just above, just above. So mm. you think Steve Smith is gonna have like a strong end to the year? You I think so. I, I think didn't... I think he's had a bit of a blip, and like just you said about his form. hunger, like. He's too. His mind is too concentrated on cricket. Yeah. Like about uh, the stories of him getting home from a long uh, series overseas, and his wife has to give him throwdowns in the nets out the back. Like, yeah. Like, I think he's too good to not finish strongly. I think he's gonna uh, this year. He's gonna. I'm this a bit summer, worried about him finishing strongly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I just don't. I don't back him in as an opener. I just don't think it's the spot. Mm. I don't think he'll be playing there. I reckon they might. I think so. Yeah, I reckon I after a test or back. two, they might change him back. Because because yeah. he did come out recently well, and say, what. I don't care where they play me as long as I bat. Mm. And I think. Yeah, they, that means he oh, will open. They'll have Cam I Green think, I, you reckon, I reckon they'll move him back to his mm. back to his four. That's, a good, that's a good debate. Uh, we could do it. On, check out the socials. We'll do an 11 for the uh, summer of cricket, I reckon, mm. in the next couple of weeks. Best 11. Uh, we'll go number three. We're going with Marcus this time. Leah's had his uh, time. Oh. Come on, Marcus. Oh, come on. Here we go. Come on. This is hard. Really hard. Number three. Alan Border. Oh, oh, I got no. the same. Oh. I got the same. Oh. Rip. I've got oh. Alan Border, second most runs in Test cricket for Australia with eleven thousand one hundred and seventy-four, average of fifty, captain of Australia. Yep. Um, played for sixteen years. He's just a fantastic leader and batsman. Like he, he on the pitch, tactically he was very good, um, and, and his mentality was very good. But he was able. To deliver it as him. well. Got he's got a dog in him. <laughs> yep. um, and then he's also like chipped in with another 17, 1800 runs in, in other formats. Obviously, that wasn't really his period. More when I feel like that was more when um World Series. Uh, one day cricket, yeah. World Series cricket yeah. was was coming to um its stride. But well, World Series cricket isn't in the official stats, which yeah. is a funny one as well. Which uh yeah, there's probably a few players that could be up there in the list just well, from what, that. What, yeah, what can you plug, Stats guy, about World Series cricket? What do you mean? Oh, right. Most controversial moments in cricket history Sorry, yes, video. Yes. Check this it out. This is our host. Come on. <laughs> this is your job. <laughs> well, yeah, it's been three weeks. That's a long time in, uh, in my book. Uh, but no, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, check out that video. And I agree with Alan Border. I've got him at three as well. Second in yeah, Oz uh, test runs of all time. Mm. Extremely consistent. He's got the most 50s of any Aussie. 
if you go back uh, and probably ask him, he'd be like, oh, I should have converted a lot more of them into hundreds, which uh, a few guys later in the list uh, will talk about. Yeah. But the fact that he's got the most 50s of any Aussie, that's that's still yeah, a very six, consistent effort. Yeah. 63 50s, that's but, a lot only, of 50s. but only 27 hundreds compared yeah, to only. some others. How many, how many hundreds have we, have we got between, between us? I don't even think any of us have <laughs> any of us in a sentence. I just get random, man. Are you talking about strike rate in cricket or? Oh, yeah. No, I was saying hundreds. I said hundreds. How many hundreds? Oh, I've made zero hundreds. Yeah, has anyone made hundreds? No. Oh, oh that's hundreds. sad. I'm a bowler. Yeah, that's all right. Anyway, yeah, Alan Border, number three. Leo. David Warner. Oh, what? No. 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 I was going to put him at five, but not hey, three. Do you actually have David Warner? I have David Warner oh, three. Oh, that's, he's up there, but that's not why. three. That's not three. why. Oh. That's why. All right. Oh. Don't know about that one. Go, you go? Give, us, give us some reason. Second most runs in all formats for Australia. Second most. He's above Steve Waugh. Okay. There you go, yeah. bang. <laughs> That's it. No, it no, he's an average of 40 in all formats, like combined. Mm. I just think I have him there because of his ability to do it in, like his style in change across any across format. Across all formats, okay. Yeah. The only, like, I did have him at four and Smith at three, but I swapped them around because I just think Smith lately has, was a bit off. Warner, I don't know, just like. I feel second like we're a bit highest, harsh. Second highest true. score for Australia as well with 335. Not yeah, enough. there you go. Is the, yeah, the Tice is Tubby Taylor, isn't it? Uh, or, I'm having a look. Uh, Hayden, Hayden 380. 380. Oh, of course, Matthew Hayden. Yeah. yeah. Warner passed uh, Taylor. There you go. The three. I just Taylor, think, think uh, you are right. Is I think we're putting a lot of emphasis on Tess. On and I just, I did that too. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, Warner does it in every format. It probably is a little bit stiff. Like yeah. Steve Not Smith my five. doesn't do it in T20s. All formats. No, he doesn't like, do it He did T20. do it in ODIs for a bit. Yeah. Um, Steve mm. Waugh, ODIs, not, not T20s because he, he retired before. Yeah. Um, I feel like Steve Waugh would have been really good in T20s because yeah. he could hit a bomb. Like he could hit a big mm. six. I, you've actually swung me around a little bit. Let's I think, go. I think it's just because we- Common Leo W. Yeah. 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 Common Leo, Leo W. w. Like I was gonna Leo's start cooked there, Leo. Leo's oh, cooked. let's go, lads. See you later, I'm on. Cold moments, Leo. There's gonna be a lot of comments for him, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> I see Jimbo will be all over that. Uh, yeah, look, I see Jimbo, he, let, let me know. If he play, if I'm having a look now, if they would want to play the same amount of matches as Ricky Ponning, which is probably an extra 200, could he overtake him? 200? Oh Wait, well, he played an extra God. 200, Ricky Hunter, Ponning. Hunter made, yeah, played, Almost 200 more games than Warner in. That's oh, Warner had the ban as well. I but swear, that's yeah. not 200 games. No, it's in about year. 10 or 20, yeah. But only 9,000 runs short. So, yeah, could that's, he? possibly. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a good point. I think what you said about concentrating on Tess. I just think Tess is the hardest. Yeah, and, absolutely. And that's why I'm. But he still, like, he still yes. did it in Tess. He still did it in Tess. Apart from Stuart Broad. Yeah, uh, no, that's a good point. Other than that, he still did it in Tess. No, very good point. Yeah. No, you've, you've done well there. You've done well. Thanks, lad. Still had an average of 45 in Tess cricket. He's just a flog though. So like. Like yes. I can't stand him, so he's not in my five. Just he is, he's, 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 good, like, he's watching. Most sure. of the, my five good. are good blokes. Anyway, number two, <laughs> we're going with Marcus again. Uh, Punter. Number two. Oh, yeah. I've got a different one. Oh, I don't know. I think I know who you, you got to. Well, you know, nah. no, you know once you get out, <laughs> that's blasphemy. <laughs> oh, I've got. I'm, <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that word in my life. <laughs> it sounded yeah, like heaven. Uh, yeah, Punter two most runs in a. For Australia in Test cricket and Overall. across all three formats yep. as well, unbelievable player. Fifty-one average. He's literally whenever you think of a especially pull in shot, our lifetime, a hook shot, you, pull think shot of, yep. you think of punter. Yep. Um, his strike rate was sort of good. He was he was actually very aggressive mm. compared to like I know he was yep. in the era of like Hayden and Gilchrist who could also be aggressive, but. You're coming in at someone who's supposed to solidify an innings. Yeah, coming and he'd in still at, go for it, and he'd still he mm. still plays shots and yeah. Um, at times he just carried Australia on his back, um, especially throughout uh, a lot of Ashes series. Yep. Uh, so punter for me, well and truly deserved number two. Very stiff not to be number one. I well. think that is very unlucky not to so be number one. Who do you one. have at two? My number two. If you don't have him at number two as well, there's something wrong with you. Don Bradman, the Don. Look, he could be at number one. I had a look at a lot of websites. A lot of websites and people have him at number one. But he played it in an era where the cricket wasn't as good, I think. But how would, you know? how would you know? How would you know? I, I wouldn't know. I got a time machine. No, of course. I don't, but the I don't grass would have been longer. The bats were harder to use. The pitches yeah. would have been harder. Boundaries would have been longer. Yeah. And anyway, we'll, I'll fence. get into some of his stats and then you can talk about why he's your number one. So he obviously well, got. Do the, you want me to give my number two as well or no? Well, I'm, I haven't. Yeah, 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 but you're like. You don't have the Don. Oh, right. actually, do you have the Don at number two? Don? Just so we can talk about it together? I do have the Don. Okay, there two. you go. There you go. Okay, Obviously, he's got the best te test average ever 99.94. Came short in his last innings, not to average 100. That's just. What do you unbelievable. need to make? What do you need to make three? Or he one? needed to make 11. And I, I, think, make 11, I think he, he made a 
four, I believe. Uh, he sure. needs to make 11, I think, okay. which he yeah, averages sure. 99.9. Uh, You're like, oh, he can make 11 pretty easily. <laughs> and then he didn't, obviously. Uh, yeah, he has tw- that average is 28 more runs than anyone else in the history of Test cricket. 28. Yeah. Voges is the next next yeah, next Voges, best sixty one yeah. average, which is crazy that you oh, think of. those days. He, he had, Voges batted at he five. had thirty innings, so it's not mm. like he. Uh, yeah, so he needed to score four runs, and he made a duck. Oh, four runs. Okay, I thought it was eleven. He made a duck yeah. in his last. He only That's had even seven, He only had seven ducks as well. I'm he needed sure. to make four runs to average hundred, and he got out for yeah a donut. Yeah, he's just unbelievable. He has the mo- uh, world record for most hundreds in a row after making fifty. So he had 12 hundreds in a row when he made 50 plus. That's just unbelievable. Yep. And it was in the three year stretch where everyone's like, how are we supposed to get this guy? Imagine playing against Dodd Bradman. You're yeah. like, he's just going to make 100. Yeah, more time. hundreds and 50s. Yeah, which is unbelievable. That's crazy. And uh, I will mention that what Marcus said, had a really skinny bat. I've seen some of the bats that he's used. They're literally just like a twig. And mm-hmm. he was just hitting, hitting bombs and hitting fours and sixes. So yep. absolute freak, Dodd Bradman. Has to be in the top two. Probably still yep. not to be one, but I think the cricket in another guy's era was better. Yeah. Interesting. Same. So what's little, your what's your vibe? Why is your number two? Well, I think you just same, said it. Same sort yeah, of thing. Yeah. Ninety nine average speaks for itself. Yeah. yeah bang. Yeah, that just rolls into my number one. That's that's why he's that's why he's taking. That's why he's the goal. goal. All right, we'll go. Yeah, number one. Fifty an intro. Marcus. Don Bradman. Don Bradman. Fifty two matches. Fifty two and seven. Pretty much seven thousand runs in fifty two <laughs> matches. Unbelievable. Unreal. From when pitches were bad. Yep. Balls were heavier. Grass was longer. Boundaries were longer. Boundaries were the fence. That's so, the fence, yeah. Literally, you you would literally run into no uh, protective equipment, really. Yeah, you could probably get your head stuck in like w- picket fences. <laughs> That's what it was like. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, you got a small head, <laughs> but and he, and he did it in an era as well where England was the team at the t- when yep. it was started coming through yep. at the time, and then when he came in, that just changed the complete narrative of Australian cricket. Yep. And he's influenced even that early period. Like everyone still talks about him too. Everyone, every cricket person, everyone affiliated with cricket oh, knows, knows the yeah. name. Um, and yeah, like 29 centuries, 13 half centuries in 52 games. Mm-hmm. Just That's freak. almost like- That's ridiculous. Yeah. I've still got a sign back from him. Uh, I've said this on the show before from the Don. So uh, he it says to him, happy where on do a, you live? Or was that where do you <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not going to sell it. All, all, no one's what, what stealing room? it, but yeah, I'm not, not telling you. But yeah, absolute legend. And every, you're right, yeah. everyone in cricket, there's a few names that everyone knows. The Don is definitely definitely one of them. The Don. Mm. All right, I'll go with you, Leo. I'll go last. Uh, go number one. Ricky Ponting. Has one. to be. Has to be. Yeah. I think the reason does why- It have to be. It does have to be. <laughs> yes. The reason the, I have him over Bradman Don? is because of the longevity. But, but, Don- <laughs> Daffy was it Daffy? <laughs> is it Daffy Duck? Was named. I can't remember after that one. Don Bradman. But that, how does that work? Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Obviously not Daffy Duck. <laughs> Donald Duck. <laughs> Donald Duck was named after Don Bradman. Which well, one of the brands at our work was named after Ricky Ponting. Well, was was Ricky Ponting ever named after <laughs> no, <it>? well, Hannah? <laughs> yeah, but like, is there a cartoon? Is there a cartoon character called Punter? I would rather a horse who, racing who would it brand. Be? Who would it be if Punter had a cartoon character? Who would that oh, be? I got no idea. That's such a random. Oh, well, that's our next uh, YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Cricketers that are cartoon It's okay. yeah. just number one. Don which, which Looney Tune are you? Daffy Duck. Yeah. So Walt Disney took inspiration for the Ducks name from Australian cricket player Donald Bradman. Yes. That is so random. I, I remember so you talked- it deserves the number one spot. <laughs> yeah, because Along Donald with Brad- his 99 average. <laughs> yes. No, I don't know about that. Most it- test runs ever for Ricky Ponting, over 13,000 plus an average of 51. That is insane. Yeah. The- I'd take would you I'd take that over ninety. Played 116 hours. matches more. Yeah, yeah. Tests. That's yeah. the longevity. Yeah. Well, of course it's yeah. longevity. He, yeah. Where's and Bradman's longevity? What's he, he doing? Played, <laughs> Bradman played for more years. Yeah, well, what's he doing? He's not playing tests. They obviously don't they, they obviously, didn't play any matches. <laughs> they played about three <laughs> when matches. When was it in the early nineteen hundreds? <laughs> and he had Honey. world wars Honey. to conclude Honey. with yeah. as well. <laughs> That's a very good point. Oh, you know his priority set. Yeah. Most runs ever for Australia in all formats. With Ricky Ponting was around probably. By 9,000. <laughs> 9,000. 9,000. Oh, that's very, crazy. That's a very good point. To be fair, a bowler was around when Ponting was A bowler, was yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. Ricky Ponting. AIDS. Smith went through COVID. <laughs> okay, let's, <laughs> let's stop talking about that. But yeah, very good point. I've got him at number one as well. Ricky Ponting, 21 more hundreds than anyone else in all formats. Just absolute freak. The pool shot, as you mentioned, that's my favorite shot. I literally was trying to play that every day of the week. So many kids growing up were just trying to play the pool shot because of Ricky Ponting. Yep. Is he? Is that the most iconic cricket shot in history? Mm. I, I think it is. As what about Bubba Azam's cover drive? Bubba Azam's cover drive is a close second. <laughs> uh, but then, but then yeah. also like, uh, I don't know, when we were coming up and playing cricket, mm. we wanted 
The bat, the cuckoo bat. Oh, the co- no, no, the kahuna. The kahuna. I, had, I, everyone, I, everyone I wanted the, the kahuna. I wanted the David Warner kaboom. The kaboom. Yeah, yeah. everyone loved the kaboom. I had the yeah. beast for a bit. Do you guys remember that one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the uh, yeah. mongoose. Oh, that was some great bat. <laughs> the mongoose was Gilly's bat. Oh, what about uh, what was uh, Hayden's bat? Was that the uh, the, the long? Oh, handle? so that was the mongoose. That was My the bad. mongoose. That was, yeah. Yes, that was the mongoose with that, that was sick. long handle. Okay, short next bat. we're gonna rank the top five. Genuinely, that could be a very fun social clip or a YouTube. So yeah, check that out. I love as well. YouTube. Cool. Yeah, we love YouTube. <laughs> and if any YouTube. bat sponsors <laughs> want to sponsor us, yeah, so we can we'll just go top five bats. The order. Whoever sponsors us will go number one. There you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And oh, that's that's all wins. Please be Kookaburra because they're clearly the best bat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Kahuna, that green and yellow. Kahuna Josh bat. Brown. Josh Brown's bat. What was he makes bats? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. His bat? I, don't uh, know I can't but, remember, but yeah, yeah that. That's going really well, that, that bat. At the Renegades. At the Renegades. There you go. So yeah, my number one as well has, has to be number one, I think. So mm. yeah. Is that is that it? So we got I Ricky Ponting for us two. The Don. I the feel Don like for me. Don for you. I had, we shared the list, at the same list at the start and we shared the same list at the end. Yeah. So yeah. It was about the journey. It was about, it was, so, so you were right at the start and right at the end. <laughs> no, no you, you lifted at the end. I think I just got the best of your minds. You I forgot think I'm on the, the, the middle ground. Yeah, but you forgot about the World Wars, Leah. <laughs> <laughs> you about you the forgot about, never forget about the Never World forget War. about the World War. Anyway, I'm calling it. That stumps before uh, Marcus says anything <laughs> Do you not remember more outrageous. Gallipoli? <laughs> oh, I'm just going to stop talking about that. Yeah. That's not the big today. Turn into Mark off. <laughs> yeah. We'll be back with this next week. Uh, we're going to do a lot of social clips and get excited for Are the we'll summer. We'll next week. We'll do something next week. Yeah, we have to. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Why not? The well, summer is right around the corner. It is right around the corner. It's so a few months away. Yep. Lots of clips coming up. <laughs> you guys keep interrupting. I'm just trying to finish, shall we? Uh, send in any questions. Get around the comments. Uh, after this video, we'll read out some comments. I feel like there'll be a few comments about who we should have had in our top five. Mm-hmm. Let us know any other videos you want to see on socials or YouTube and things like that. Yep. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you very much, Gerald, for producing and putting up with our absolute shambolic show. Thank you very much, Leo. Thank you. Thanks, Marcus. Thanks, that's good. Thanks to me. And that's another episode of Cricket Today done. We're out. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows on the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.